Hello guys, Nato here, and this is going to be part of my Switch Thoughts MMG at Vlog. And this one, this time, I want to give my thoughts on paid online. So of course, if you heard during the presentation, Kinoshima basically said that starting at fall 2017, on the Nintendo Switch, they will be starting to do a paid online. And of course, some gamers, Nintendo owners, like, oh, so really... Nintendo, now you jump on the bandwagon. Again, I may not like it, but at the same time, I can understand the situation. Because again, the first company ever done this to pay it online is Microsoft. They did it. But the thing is, what people don't know is that in the original Xbox, the, the OG Xbox, the black, well, the very first one before the 360, let's just say that. The original Xbox, excuse me. <coughs> Is <coughs> not sorry. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Is that it did introduce online gaming? I mean, really introduced online gaming, and it was free. It was actually free. I mean, it came in later, like way later when the after the Xbox was launched. But what basically Microsoft saw was that people liked the online, but at the same time, it was costing us money, and they were actually doing it for free. So starting with the 360, they introduced, the, they call it the Xbox Gold program, which is, if you're gold, you can play online, you get additional programming apps on your 360, such as Netflix, Hulu, and what else, um, Microsoft, Microsoft Explorer, and those other things. And then after a while, they changed their gold program, but in the beginning, that was what it is. Like, not only you can play online games... But you get to use this app as gold member. Because again, why? Probably Microsoft saw like, well, you know, it's costing a lot of money keeping up the server and we're not really making any money back or they're not making a profit. Or they're probably losing money just running up the server. So they said, you know, we got to do something. So the compromise says, hey, you know, we got to do paid. So the same goes with PlayStation 4, with Sony. They did have online with the PS3 and the Vita. To some extent, PSP, but from what I know, was shoddy. And when it comes to the PS4, they said, yep, same deal. We got to make it paid. Probably the same reason they were losing a lot of money. But they are actually during the HD era with the PS3. They were losing a lot of money. The console itself in the beginning, you know, hey. It was six six hundred dollars. They were losing two hundred dollars for everything. They sold a six hundred dollar version, the sixty gig, with PSU backwards compatibility, fully one hundred percent. And they were providing free online. They probably weren't making money out of that. They were actually probably losing a lot of money. Even so, they did rectify it. They're probably still slow making a profit. So when push comes to shove with the PS4, they said, "Yeah, we got no choice." And again, it. it when they're making it paid online, it kind of again it sucks. The other side of the penny is, yep, it costs money to run servers. I mean, just think of it as trying to run a website that costs money. It's not free. There is a free version, but it's very limited. And if you're trying to make your website beautiful so people will visit it frequently, you gotta pay for it. It costs money. Another example I can say was the Backlog Battle Podcast with their iTunes list. Right now, they're using a free version, and the rule is you can put up to 20 episodes. That's it. They're trying to put every single one ever, ever since the beginning, but again, that costs a lot of money because servers are expensive. So the same goes with this game, hardware game company. Servers are expensive. So again, we go to Nintendo with the Wii U. Yes, the online is not good. The Nintendo Wii and DS, granted, the online is not that good. I Barely touched it, but in my opinion, I think it was okay to what it is. Not as so much of an online person. I can't start playing online in Nintendo with Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 7. Oh, well, that's a 3DS, but they're using a new online system, service, and Super Smash Bros. I mean, granted, it's the only game that they have online. They're probably the other ones. I never really played Pokemon Battle Online. Surprisingly, uh, I don't know. Different story, but again, for what it is, it's okay. I mean, the Wii granted wasn't that good, but again, it was free. Can't really complain about that. 
than the Wii U. Again, they got better, but still, it wasn't there because trying to play Splatoon. If you don't have any, if you don't have a strong internet, yeah, it's kind of tricky. I play Splatoon. I keep getting, I keep getting like kicked off all the time, and I'm like, wow, really, like. Seriously, and again, the problem is like Splatoon takes a lot of bandwidth, so server is very expensive and it's for free. So I guess push can to shove. Hey, you know Nintendo said, yeah, we're not making any money. We gotta do something about it. And plus, you gotta understand when Nintendo partnered with Dina, they're the one who did most of the Nintendo mobile game. They're also were hired to do the Switch online infrastructure, the system, the account, I don't even know what it is yet. They're probably to some extent are in charge of the online service. So they probably Dina probably said, hey, you know, gotta make some money out of this. We can't just hey we can't just make it free. So there you go. Yeah, so that's really the reason I think the it's necessary, but it kinda sucks. Even I agree with it, it sucks, but it is what it is. You really can't do anything about it. Just wait and see how the Nintendo online service works. Is it worth it? It's not. Remember, you can always vote with your wallet. If you don't support the online service, just don't buy it. Don't pay for it. That's all I can say. So for that, thanks for listening.